Okay, today is September the 17th, 2020. The only thing that happened is... Uh, there is a progress to it, though, I got to admit. Uh, the front lights are all smashed. That's now smashed and... Uh, the side window is also smashed. Um, that uh, thing, plastic that was used on the side you know, actually can be visible from the other side that's being smashed and some property is being stolen like uh, titanium frames glass frames for the glasses and stuff like this um, fishing lines hooks just as I was told the case is gonna be um, pretty much what happened is the first night, this is the stuff that I want to clarify. This is this was another attack by the same people. Who these people are? Um, these people, um, there is a very, very strong probability that they work until like early morning hours um, or something like this. I don't know what time was it last night when they would come here and they would ride a motorbike and stuff like this there was also a girl here these are local workers here not too far from here um but there is a little bit more to it uh, they also are long time veterans i don't know if these were the same people because i covered myself with uh tarpon inside of the car and just wanted to get some sleep the thing about it is that uh, this is about the police. It's the police that is doing this. It's nobody else that's doing this. I'm gonna be really, really detailed about this stuff. Today I'm gonna give some really, really details that uh, it's gonna point further to police direction. Uh, police has been using these people to break many, many cars here and also caused some other damage but i don't know about other damage but i know that what happened to me here was already demonstrated to me on the mk ultra how it's gonna happen that's one thing by the police who are these people i was suggested there were two versions one is already i have explained that they work nearby uh, in a company i think right on the other side of the lake um, the second version has, was different, that these are two guys that are being used by the police to, to do the stuff like this. But this could work either way, whether they would work there or not. And they just are just as well as familiarized with this area, just as police alone is. In a little bit I'm going to explain why, how. And so they are being used like an extension of the police to vandalize, to cause damage, ensure that uh, people would not camp around, they would not stay in this area. So they are like extension or if you would, if you would like of security officers of the facilities, uh, they are being used for this kind of assignments to to make sure the people go away from here literally by causing this stuff like this it's like some kind of if you want to say like a private security in that sense but we have already going uh, issues here now into a theft and other stuff like this about the police number one issue that I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna cross these issues I have written them down this morning police insisted me on the MK Ultra that they're gonna help me out oh, this is a form of help this is how they see maybe this is a help I see this is something else I see this is indifferent from Polish police the same thing uh, it's that kind of overload issues that's basically entering the area of crime a criminal world and they want you to just side with it and tolerate uh, what the police did was they insisted that a broken glass in the back in the back in the rear of the vehicle 
uh, actually, and it's exactly what the police officer who came here uh, insisted would not even give me a police report when called yesterday. They appeared here at 9 o'clock. They wouldn't give me a police report even that I was physically assaulted, attacked. They insisted I should go to the shop first, get the estimation of um, damage. And I'm pretty sure the one who would suffer from within is just as they have suggested, it's going to be insurance company that's going to compensate. And you're going to get money for this and that, the car is not worth the shit and blah, blah, blah. This is one thing we're going to clarify about the police. Who is the police? Who is the police officer who told me about this kind of stuff? Who is the police officer who instructed me under MK Ultra that... Okay, who is the police officer? The police officer is an individual who would come here in the evening when he came. All three it was all of them. He would come in the evening. Um, the one who came in the evening was individual who claimed to have a contact with a Hollywood. There is graffiti here like 200 meters away. It's covered walls with graffiti. He insisted, in fact, that he was with... Well, he insisted beyond the MKUltra that this and this and this, this is what he's going to do. They used somebody that probably look like Hollywood person to gesture me. If I hear something against the Hollywood or something, the only thing I do is I do like this and we break the windows. We give the order to break this, to break that. Da, 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 da. This is a real schizophrenic schizoia of the Czech and Polish police. This is how they did this stuff. What is the reality about this guy? No, he claimed that he's gonna, the only thing he's gonna do is he would not issue me the report. They would not issue me the report. They would require me to actually go and follow the mentioned procedure. Get the estimation value, come to the police, and then they would actually give me a police report. This is a total violation of Czech rules alone, even that he claimed that in the Czech Republic this is the way it is to assure that people do not use vehicles that are not technically in satisfactory traffic uh, conditions. This individual is a loser. The Hollywood people, I don't appreciate them, I don't value them. You know, you can see the shit that this is being used. Um, whatever they were allowed to use, let's call this 100% was reduced to me through Donald Trump into a crime, basically condensed into a crime issue, of which I was allowed to use probably only 10%. And those 10% was the worst that Donald Trump learned about the Poland and Czech Republic in respect to jobs, lodging, uh, all the abilities to survive environment itself. And then they would use the population Pollocks and checks to basically keep the doors locked. Not even communicate through the emails, but instead through the telephone means when you would be on the Polish side of the border, and I'm sure when you would call, when they would um, steal your telephone on this side of the border and so on. I don't want to get into that stuff, or you walk the whole city, Lodge and you don't get the job because everybody's on a holidays and stuff like this. Then when you're already on the other side of the country, that's when all of a sudden, uh, and you know, this is what you do from door to door, right? Then all of a sudden they call you uh, to Czech Republic and on the border, basically with the Czech Republic and stuff like this. This individual was, how can I say, like I said, I'm not on the side of the Hollywood, this boy's However, our Americans, they sign up for something that's open on the doors to their careers, 
based maybe on their specifics who knows whatever they were why they were choose from profile uh, they completed their service in a foreign country and returned back to the US to pursue their lucrative careers and a police officers that would swim with them that would bat with them felt that they're privileged they're entitled for that matter I actually have a proof because the graffiti is that people from Hollywood would live here on uh, on the walls here the dam the locals here it was all kinds of mental issues that grew up you know them sitting here broken financially and Hollywood people were there filled with the money that were not even interested in communicating with them resulted and in, in writing over their names their names uh, graffiti is uh, erasing them and that kind of stuff basically this is what this police officer are in a short a losers a punks a criminals good for nothing Babich. Babich is a Czech politician from Prague. Babich was involved in this stuff. Babich is younger, uh, dynamic people, a uh, person, just as I've explained to the gentleman right there. He's a biker. He would come here. He would be around these Americans. He would be around politicians, Americans, back and forth. And he had his stuff, whatever. But he's not a bad person. Babich is not a person that would pursue some kind of Nazism. Uh, he's not a person that he would pursue ideals of Donald Trump. All true Donald Trump is connected to this shit. Just as I have explained about connection between the Hollywood and Donald Trump. And also because Babich eventually hospitalized his own son because of his views and those are pro-american views uh, I'm not gonna say pro-american but pro different kind of views views that shouldn't be on a picture really if you're a normal Czech or Polish person if you know a little bit your history you wouldn't even contemplate on anything like this because Babich was in the picture of this place here the police, the first round police officer who interrogated me about the incident that took place, the one that typed the report, involved, this is all the same generation, gestured me if it's going to be something like this here, it's going to be a bobbage. So what this police station wanted to do is, they want to cause me a friction, you know, amplify the friction basically, this is how they see themselves creating a friction whichever way you go and connect you basically to the crime and stuff like that this place they claim there is no cameras here I'll tell you there is a thousand cameras not one here. there is thousand of them there is not there is not one I'm gonna tell you there is there is cameras here probably on these light poles and everywhere more than what you can count basically I'm not the first person this has happened to. This has happened to numerous people. The best for the police station would be to connect me with Bobbage. With Donald Trump, either way, Donald Trump is involved in this stuff. This is this is just the way it is. But he can be guilty for everything. But again, in this case, he is guilty. He is guilty. Whatever bad happens to me, this is this is what he created. This is what he brought me here for. And to the Hollywood, that it could be that some of the people in the Hollywood that are running the background show, which indefinitely are connected big time to Donald Trump. He does have his people inside of the Hollywood. 
um, but not in a way this police station wanted to portray this whole thing. They have their own issues, they have their own problems, and they just try to amplify this kind of issues through basically destroying me a home. This was my home, basically. When a gentleman, before the gentleman would go and proceed to whack the rear window, as he would come right here to me, the two would come right here and start to flash with the batteries inside. They would go inside the car and look everything inside. He would go to the rear of the car and he would not take a photo of it or something like this which I actually would not even mind if somebody would take a photo of my registered plates. I don't care about you taking photos. This is your right. It's, a, it's on a public display. You take whatever you want. Who cares? He instead pull out the paper, pen. They were well prepared and started to write down the number. They wear the black shirt, t-shirts. The same dress, basically. Like a work coat or something like that like security would. Interesting that police officers who came the night shift knew how they were dressed. Black t-shirts. I didn't even have to say anything. And he started to write down my plate and when I asked him what is it, what is what what are you doing with the with the license plate? I mean why are you because they wouldn't go away and because I knew that according to their words as they work as security officers over there and this is a public area here I felt that and this is public here uh, there was a lot of other people who parked cars here I have no reason to fear here for anything of anything it came to me a question I said why are you actually uh, why don't you guys, why don't you, the two of you, just go back to your facility over there and take care of one, if this is what your security officer is from? Because this here is a public area. And I asked them before that, beforehand, whether I'm allowed to stay here or I'm not allowed to stay here. If they would not want me to stay here, I'm going to go away from here and this and that. They started to mumble something about some kind of oxygen bombs. Uh, I'm not even sure what kind of bombs maybe for welding something I don't know that they they would give me thousands zloty and here we have again police link with the police they again wanted to get attention for me by offering me some kind of money illegal stuff that would help me financially basically the same thing the same like with a theft with the insurance company we have again the same kind of link here I said well in that case know that I am first I, I told both of them because these are all locals here these are people who are here coming here since from forever I told them what happened today with the theft of my wallet and stuff this was not cool and now I really don't know what am I gonna do even stay here in Czech Republic for me this is really a 9-11 when you take all the telephones uh, when person doesn't have nothing to communicate and has 300 euros left on a banking account that's probably not a good sign for that person you're gonna probably spend that money on another telephone and even maybe ticket home or something like this rather than anything else job search now is completely out of question like this right so these people basically destroy me completely here whack me They wouldn't take that for granted and instead they proceeded to punch me with a leg, one of the guys, and he wanted to altercate into the physical confrontation. On what I did, someone responded. I started to wake up, it started to appear to me that this is something else that goes on here.
The police officer of the, of the inside of the vehicle, when I called for help that same day, prior to vandalizing of the vehicle, uh, due to theft of the wallets. This is all the stuff they told me ahead is gonna happen. During the driving of the vehicle, he was talking about discs that what they would do is, this was also another thing I already have explained. One was to make sure that when I go through the Hungary, through the Austria, that they keep this information. And then all kinds of versions that the, uh, the Czech government, you know, remember when I said Bobic earlier, if it's gonna be like this, it's gonna be Bobic, according to that police officer. Is gonna go and use this to extort foreign governments, basically. This, my data, my telephones, my SD cards, to get discounts on a business deals and stuff like this. And then there was another stuff. There is a pirate party here in Ostrava. And they targeted that one by, by insisting that it is actually this from the pirate party. And they're going to have this and they're going to use that kind of stuff to release here and there. Stuff so they're going to promote themselves in a field of the politics, basically. Stuff like this. That they will destroy me, but they will have this and they're going to promote themselves and stuff like this. So the, there was quite a few issues here this police station have targeted. And I know so because they involve all these issues. And all this shit was run to the Ostrava police. Because this wouldn't be one person they target, this would be one issue they targeted. They, they, they targeted a variety of issues, politicians, and even the political parties here in this case. He talked about the discs. According to MK Ultra, and they did this. There were two stations, show stations. That's at least what I was taught. Ah, who cares about this stuff? along the Ostravica. This here is a bad one, this is where you're not supposed to be, but then there is another shell station and that one you can be. But that shell station, uh, actually that one sucks, there's no jobs nearby, there is nothing nearby, everything is even further, uh, and the nature itself really is not appealing. It's nothing like this here. I'm going to demonstrate you, I like it like this, natural. talked all along to this other fuel station where I was taken and I did explain them in detail that what I am it's a big dam it's a forest it's wild nothing like this on the other shell station I explained them very well uh, where this place in fact would be what exactly this would look like he talked about the discs, he talked about the copying files and stuff like this. The police have this stuff. That they're just buying time and then somehow they're gonna return me back this wallets and everything and so on and so forth. At the same time he insisted that if you're not gonna have a telephone, then you will not you will not be able to uh, you will not be able to you will not be able to to make a claim about anything no because you're not going to be able to record anything Wish I had a pause button right now, but this is a million issues. So they were, according to them, alone, if it's going to be something like this happening, we'll take you to another dam, to another, to another shell station. That's going to be because they're copying the files, because it's the state. In other words, it's a Babbage that is copying the files right now. He's making a backup of the files for the Czech state so they can do all that beautiful stuff to other governments. Police was not interested in my telephone number when I wanted to give them, hand them, a telephone number I had. I was shocked. I was in shock. I was in a complete... 
I was stressed out and I admit in shock uh, because pretty much the same thing repeated like in Poland when the individual would sell me a car and this individual who told me also he's gonna have to come from Poland in the end to retrieve the car this is we come to pick up the car shit and yet the last thing we're gonna have to come to Czech Republic to pick up the car and this and that completely in line with it with the Polish police with the whole Polish with the whole setup with the whole dots they created for the sake of Donald Trump and they did bought Donald Trump a tremendous amount of time they sure did while gesturing me that we all work together they were in that we are in this all together They're insisting all along that we are in this all together that if I'm gonna turn against a single person they're never gonna come out clean about what happened and stuff like this. If I'm gonna talk bad against anyone, especially against the state or something like this, they're never gonna come clean about this stuff. They refused to take my telephone number, SIM card, which was inside of the telephone, which would completely give them a chance to localize an individual. At that point in time, I did have the number. Like I said, I was stressed, I was shocked. And the number is still here. This is still the number. It is still inside of the... The number is still inside of the... Still inside of my backpack, the whole thing. I have it. Uh, I was stressed so much that I wouldn't... I wouldn't demonstrate in this. And instead of that, I pulled out of the wallet where the SIM card is uh, without the number after they have already rejected me this offer I pulled that one out where there is no number where there actually is no number and was so confused that I completely forgotten that I was attempted to demonstrate them the real number, this number. So they have declined to accept the SIM card number and track individual. They were not interested in description either of the female they were not interested in description of male. This is an individual who would come here to this place already since 1996. Is a personal friend, personal acquaintance of these police officers. Already also was advised that it is not legal to burn plastic from the cables. by this police station something I was advised to reminded of at the police station alone police officers that at the no, they were interested in taking uh, fingerprints or anything like this from the two guys that came later on to vandalize my vehicle. Police officer at a police station likewise. Just his, they reminded me it's illegal to burn cables. Uh, actually plastic from the cables, from the cable wires. It reminded me also of a telephone. What telephone? They had an old telephone at a drawer, and he said, this is what we're going to do to you. They told me on that I'm actually going to steal the telephones. And this is going to be the telephone, if it's still going to be here, that we will give you an old telephone so that you can use. This undoubtedly was planned by the police. This undoubtedly was done by Ostrovo police.
I probably have missed, I probably have skipped some detail here. It was at the police station when I told them about the SIM card that I demonstrated them a number and everything that, that I can give them that they can trace and this and that they have refused. On the way back to the police station they did ask me about this same card but like I said I, I was I was in a complete shock about this stuff I would not count something like this actually is going to turn into a living nightmare no. I have no idea whether they have noticed something that I have placed um, a phone number to a different location or what it is but as on way back to the police station I could not spot uh, a telephone number anymore uh, but I only had in my hands this here which would not give any kind of um, help in any way I was uh, once at the police station I was pretty damn sure that uh, I have left this even inside of the car I was completely confused but not confused to the point that when an individual would stop by at evening hours when they were taking a police report and have asked police officers for the time and they answering with nine o'clock not confused to the point that when they would bring me here and test me if what how far they have managed to get through with it um, if I remember what time was it when the two came approximately when this stuff happened basically when pretty much when we were talking with one another uh, actually it was a half nine o'clock back then when we met with the police officers we, get, we arrived here at nine and so I told them if you don't remember them I asked them which means that individual they were testing my memory my abilities my capabilities on memory to see what they can how much more damage is necessary to do to me Czech and Polish police attempted to murder me. I accused them of assassination attempt, driving individual insane, using a torture methods that went into a physical abuse, went into a physical attacks, went into directed abuse of directed energy weapons, went into the poisoning and so on. And like I've stated, I want the United Nations to get involved in it. This is not a help. Uh, what the Polish police and Czech police have told United Nations about, why this stuff is necessary, how this and that, what, how they're going to prove, what they're going to prove, uh, this is bullshit. This is just literally a cover-up for Donald Trump. This has, I'm going to say, nothing to do with form of help of any kind this is just the idea here is to kill individual this is a killing and Czech Polish police are doing this stuff already for two years the hatred when I came here basically exploded and that was a hatred I hate to say against a psychologist from Poland for whom they have insisted they're gonna help so these are completely other issues, these are criminal issues, criminal as it get. And I want the United Nations to take actions against this. This is not okay. Police 100% is behind this stuff. This is a stuff that was recorded basically, stuff destroyed, more damage done to it. Um, without even a telephone, without anything. I came yesterday at night. Um, the clothing I have packed is now inside of the car, was thrown all over, including the food, all over the place.
and you don't leave the people homeless you don't leave people without a telephone like this this is not a police this is something else these are criminals not a police and I will not be complying with this stuff I want to know the nations really to get involved in this stuff this is too this is too much this is too far I have no idea what they have the UN claimed that this is going to be necessary part of it for me to go through to prove involvement of Donald Trump and so on uh, his presence here in Poland Czech Republic and stuff like this but the Czech Republic the Poland have done much more damage to me than actually have provided with proofs now eventually the SD cards were stolen and now eventually the telephones were stolen now eventually police officer on Wednesday who was taking a report from me prior to the car being vandalized basically report about the stolen wallet about the SD cards insisted that on Friday the borders are gonna close with the Czech Republic he gestured that the one with the Poland he's not sure about but definitely with the Slovakia and therefore Hungary and so on and others and so that gave you the idea that they don't want you in the Czech Republic that you need to get the fuck out of the Czech Republic you need to get lost and to fortify that kind of pressure on me they started to break destroy vandalize this vehicle because this is what happened then the same evening as I returned here then attack on a vehicle happened took place so me explaining all these issues clearly explain a police involvement a police criminal pattern involved in this case this is an Austria police this is a Czech police this is a Polish police that is involved against me I lost 26 years of life because of Czech Republic because of Poland people who are nobodies here became a multi-billionaires there is a several Czech billionaires Škoda factory was safe through to me it was Miller Zeman who participated in negotiations next to me and around us were KGB people and the Czech people from Czech Republic did not manage to collect enough courage to tell uh, uh, Russians in 95 eventually that they want to keep that they want the German technology for a Czech factory so one can survive I don't know there to one but there are jobs here there are billionaires, Czech billionaires that exist out there because of me and I know these billionaires I know these politicians are grateful to someone else to have jobs rather than me and I like it this way that's why I'm saying I'm asking the United Nations to get involved in it I don't want any kind of thank you from Czech or Pollux in any sense on my way back yesterday from Ostrava, from center, I said to myself, I don't want to stay here because I don't want to hear the word thank you. I don't want this. This is how far this thing. It was a toxic situation here, 20 something, 22 years ago, where an individual released poison inside of the river that would actually exterminate fish, which did not recuperate itself even to today or what it used to be this is the kind of madness the hatred we're talking about and they are disseminating this exactly this kind of toxic environment to me personally that's why I said I don't want the thank you I don't want anything from it I just want United Nations to straighten these things out I want you to get involved in it the thank you I got, I got. It's 26 years that is in a church bin. This is here, this is a thank you. 
this is what they are doing this is what they are doing this is the thank you this is the thank you I want to remember about the Czech Republic about the Poland which Polish police officers on the border crossing I have mentioned approached me that they prior to departure it's another video I'm gonna have to record about this that's why I want the UN to get involved in this stuff and stop this I don't want recognition about this case from Poland or Czech Republic I want this to go through the United Nations there will be no thank you for me a thank you a proofs I got what proofs through the broken spine literally a thank you the proofs I got were actually by handing the money like this to the landlords which I had where I had to bat myself with the ice water during the winter in the locations where I was tortured for 21 for 23 years this is a thank you this is a check this is a Polish thank you to me and this is how I want to remember this country this is how I want to remember these people that's why I want United Nations to get involved I personally do not recognize not the Czech Republic not Poland as a civilized society as a society worthy of a normal civilized human being thank you for watching this video today is in fact again September the 17 2020